everybody, it's Nate from Adventure in a Backpack, and we are moving forward with our Sprinter camper van uh, construction. And we have got the insulation uh, all finished. So uh, next step is gonna be putting on uh, the walls, the skin of the walls. Uh, so a lot of people would go ahead and put wiring up. Uh, we're actually gonna be putting wiring up on the outside of the walls uh, so it's accessible, but it's gonna be in a wire chase. So anyway, so this is uh, that's kind of why we're doing it this direction. So anyway, the first step is going to be putting up furring strips. Uh, it's just a one by two piece of wood uh, that we are strategically putting into place. Uh, we've already got them up on the ceiling here on every structural rib, as we are going to have all of our ceiling boards going this direction. And then on our walls, uh, we're using just big sheets of uh, of melamine plywood and uh, they're gonna be covered this way. So we're, we just put this one up, this furring strip. There's gonna be another one there, another one there, another one at the bottom to hold all the walls in place. So that's pretty much all we're doing right now is just putting up these boards and uh, we'll hop on the time lapse to, uh, to get this going and then we'll be back when it's actually time to put up the, uh, the rest of the plywood. We have finished up uh, this side of the wall. Uh, we had our uh, our okay, furring strips. Uh, we had those put down, and we put the uh, put the actual walls down. Uh, everything actually worked pretty good. Uh, it's going to need a little bit of trim pieces here or there. You'll see, like between these two, there's a little bit of an of a gap, but that's pretty much unavoidable as far as I'm concerned. And uh, that'll be covered up by a trim piece, as well as the roof is going to come down to here, so this will all be covered. <laughs> Uh, we ended up like uh, opting to cover the entire door. Uh, Stephanie did an awesome job like with a Dremel around the edges, like some super detailed curves and everything like that. Um, we are not woodworkers, so we don't have like a, like a woodworking shop. Um, this was done all with a Dremel. So basically stuff you can do, yeah, you can do yourself uh, without, without any kind of like crazy tools. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much how that turned out. We're pretty happy with it. Uh, but we are going to move on to this next one. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about our approach on how we're actually doing this. Um, we kind of figured out some trip, some tricks. So basically, we in a sprinter in, a, in any camper van, you know that nothing is square. Like the roof is not going to be square with the walls. The walls are not square with the floor. So you have to find areas that are as square as possible. So in in at least in this in this particular case this little would you kind of know what you would call this but basically this little partition right here is is about as square as it's going to get it's pretty square it's uh it's square to this line right here so from here to here 
is square all the way down. Whereas if we step backwards a little further, step is trying not to step on things. Oh, okay. <laughs> so from this one to this one is not really square. So basically you have one to be square on and then you can use a factory cut edges and then it'll line up everything else. So we are gonna start putting the boards on this one and uh, we'll kind of talk through the methods of doing that. Okay, so we are going to take a measurement for the height of this, and it's going to be a full four foot, and so we're cutting these out of a four by eight section of wood, um, and so we need a height measurement. So this one is measuring in from floor to ceiling, just shy of 74 at, get the curve in there, at about 73, uh, I don't know, 73 and probably, uh, we'll say 73 and three quarter on this one. So we're gonna cut us a piece of uh, piece of wood, 73 and three quarter uh, by four feet. Okay, so we are taking our tape measure and we're gonna mark out 73 and three quarter all the way across to the other side. So normally you can do uh, just two points and uh, and do a chalk line between the two of them, but this particular uh, particle board that we're using. Uh, chalk does not stick to it, so we have to draw it on there. Anyway, that's not that big. Just adds a few extra seconds to the process. One. And... Two. Okay. So once we have our straight line, 73 and 3 quarters. This stuff is really flexible. Not really sure how thin it is, but it is uh, definitely not very, very sturdy. So putting a board underneath it helps. Uh, it helps whenever you're using your skill saw to to cut across, keep it from flopping around. I have a skill saw around here somewhere. Oh, step off the edge, Nate. So with this really thin stuff that we're cutting now, go set your blade depth to very thin, basically just as wide as the material itself. Stephanie can come over here and see that. So basically I'm just setting it so it barely, barely cuts all the way through. That'd be good. Close enough. Okay. Anyway, then we're going to cut across. Okay, so we have got it in here and it actually fits really good. And uh, so basically we're just going to use our screws uh, to uh, fasten it to the furring strips. Uh, we'll have to head to the time lapse for that because I need Stephanie's help on it. Okay, so now what Nate is doing is marking the furring strip all the way across the wall so that we can secure the um, the wall to the furring strip in the middle. Um, the walls that we got are basically dry erase, so he's just using a dry erase marker on that to mark that line. And yeah, yeah. So. Mark that line all the way across so we know where to put these screws. And then we'll also mark uh, where the screws go to kind of keep them, what'd you call it? Not symmetrical, just evenly spaced. 
Okay, so basically what I've been doing for that is four feet across, putting a mark at two, a mark at three, and then one inch from that side. And then mark one, one foot, and then mark at one inch on this side. Just so it's even, it's pretty even. Okay, one more thing I almost forgot. Whenever you're putting the screws into a wall like this, uh, be sure to start from the middle and work your way out. If you start from one side and you've got a little bit, it's like not quite tight all the way across, you'll end up getting off on one side. So basically I've already put one in the middle, then I'm gonna put one to the right. Yeah. Don't put them in too tight. Break through the board. So basically, I just work from the inside out. Keeps it nice and straight and the board nice and tight so you don't have any warping. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of a way to cut out the kind of uh, more technical shapes out of the, yeah, out of any, any piece of wood, honestly. Uh, so this is a technique that's called scribing, and I do want to say I'm not some accomplished woodworker. So I'm, <laughs> this, is a, this is a little new to me, so uh, I'm just trying to teach you guys some of the things that I have learned on it as well, uh, to how to get this done in a, you know, relatively, you know, relatively straightforward fashion. So anyway, we are trying to cut around this wheel well without having much excess waste. Uh, so we're actually gonna be cutting this wheel, wheel arch and we are gonna be using a cardboard template, but we do have to get the, uh, the actual shape of the wheel arch or the wheel well onto the template. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be makeshifting what is called a scribe and how I'm going to be doing this is going to be just basically my, my straight edge I've been using, a uh, marker, permanent marker, a wood plant, <laughs> I know I'm MacGyvering now, so, and then a level. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting this straight edge up. I'm going to put a mark here where I'm starting from. Okay, so that's where that's going to start, and then think about this for a second. Okay, and then, I, then I'm going to take my level, set it on top of here, and then basically, I don't have to keep it perfectly level, it just needs to be close. So then I hold my marker out on the very end, and then I am basically tracing, tracing the curve of the top of the wheel, keeping the straight edge level, level-ish. A really, really good woodworker could probably do this directly on the wood, but if I'm teaching you how to scribe, you're probably not a really good woodworker. Like myself, because I am not a good woodworker. At any rate, okay, so that is pretty close to the shape of that side of the wheel uh, of the wheel well. So I started here. So this line corresponds to this line. So I'm gonna take the cardboard. Stephen's gonna switch me spots. I'm gonna move this down to this side. I'm actually going to cut this part off. It's just in the way now. Slide that up to that, to here, take that down, 
Now it's kind of at an angle there, but like I said, this is just a template, so it's just gonna get us close. Uh, Steph would hand me my straight edge and my ruler and video all at the same time. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my the end of that straight edge on the mark on the wheel well and on the mark right here. Okay, got my level again. And I'm basically gonna do about the same thing. So going out and come down to get back into level. Ah, uh, this is where it gets kind of sketchy. At any rate, this is where you kind of can eyeball a little bit. Okay, so now we can cut that out and see how that uh, how that actually works. Okay. Okay, so that is way too high. So I'm, I'm not too happy with uh, with how how close that was, but it does get us basically the general idea of the arch. Uh, so basically, what I think I'm going to do. Let's see, this side is pretty close. So now, now that we have the general idea, then we can start chopping parts of it off. So I'm gonna start with this side. i cut that little piece off, we're gonna get closer. Stephanie would normally be helping me, but which makes it easier to have an extra hand, but she's got a video, so we're good. You guys, Steph. Okay, so I may have cut just a tiny bit off, too far off on this side. But what I can do here is, I've got probably, you know, what, two finger lengths there. So, which that's about an inch. I could put on here, I could put plus one half inch. This is clearly an exact science. It is a super exact science. Okay, so outside of that, that's fairly close, fairly close. All this will be covered up in trim anyway. That bends down to there, and chop that off, like that. Okay, so that is as close as we are going to worry about getting. Like I said, it's gonna be covered with a trim, and so now we just trace this over to, uh, to the actual wood. So let's head back into the shop. Okay, I forgot one thing before we go back inside. So, uh, as you'll notice, this part right here, and this is a little off. This would be going all the way to the floor, and like you can see over there, it doesn't go all the way down to the floor. So I'm gonna cut the top part of this wheel arch off, avoiding the electrical cord. Like so. And now, Line her back up again, and then the mark here. There. So we'll draw a straight line from there to there and then chop that side off. It should be good to go. So we've already made our measurements here. So basically we knew that our panel needed to be 73 and a half. So we took and we drew a line at 73 and a half and that was basically a full sheet. So now we had to account for the wheel, uh, the wheel well. So we used our template. Right there. 
that I laid, laid on here, added my half inch that I was talking about. And then the other way I measured was I took a measurement inside of the van from the top of the, the top line to basically the top of the wheel arch, which is that dot right there, which was 62 and a quarter. And uh, yeah, so then I put the template on that, added my half inch there, and pretty much called it good. And it should be, should be pretty close. So anyway, we, uh, we're gonna start cutting on this and see how it went. Okay, so we just got it cut, got it up in here, and now we're gonna see how close we were. Okay, so I already tell it's gonna need a little trimming. Okay, so now we are a little, so up here, up top, we are not fitting all the way in there. So what that tells me is I need to take a little off right here. So I'm going to mark about where we need to take off. You can see it's pretty tight fitting. So just kind of ballparking where I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put basically my finger on top of the uh, on top of the wheel well, like this. And then I'm gonna draw my mark. So that'll keep it equally spaced across. We'll probably go ahead and fill it all the way down because I think it's gonna be a little long all the way over. So the next spot is gonna be the whole thing needs to shift to the to the forward just a little bit. Basically like that. Well, no, that, that, that's pretty good. That might be okay. Okay, so I think we uh, I think we don't cut anything on the back and we'll just uh, we'll cut this off and see how it works. Okay, so it is just a little bit off, probably half inch or so right there. And it's fitting tight over here on that corner right there. So Stephanie is going to take the Dremel and cut that off. So another thing is we lost the corner whenever I was using the jigsaw uh, to trim this side off, but it will be trimmed over anyway. So if it's not going to be trimmed over, then we, that'd be something we'd have to fix. But since it's going to be trimmed over, we're not too overly concerned about it. So anyway. So the thing with these Dremels is they throw a lot of dust, so it's definitely worth putting on a little bit of lung protection and eye protection. Hey! <laughs> it hit me. Okay, so she is going to cut that off now. Okay, so we got that up there. It fits actually pretty good. We had to drum off um, just this little piece right here to make it fit perfectly, but looks good now. Um, now that we've got that all in there. So I've got it tacked up there with a few screws and we're just gonna finish screwing it to our furring strips and go on to the next piece. Okay, so I have already made the template for this one. Actually, the template on this side was the same as on the other side, so we're just being able to reuse it. I was hoping to make a new one for the video, but we're not going to. Um, so what I did is I got a piece of cardboard that was the entire height of the panel and then lined it up nice and straight and then I got uh, my marker right here 
in that hole. I held my level on top of this. And then basically I traced it all the way down. I followed all of the curves along the side of, or uh, I'm sorry, along the back of the sprinter. So I've got that curve all the way down. And you can kind of see how that's working. Cause like right here, when you get to that, I have to cut out around it. So basically you just follow that all the way around and all the way down. And so basically how that ends up working is once you got that template cut, then it's pretty damn close. Anyway, we go transfer that onto the board and cut it out. Okay, so the top needed to be 18 and a half. So we're gonna take a measurement to 18 and a half, right there. And then on the bottom side of the template, that lined up pretty close. The other side had to be 21. Right there. So, grab some tape. Put that side right about there. Keep it down like that. Go over here to the top side and that as well. I didn't do a very good job, job lining up the top. So you can just stay right over here. Outstanding. You good? Mm -hmm. Let's uh, double, let's think this. Okay, okay, yeah. There, down, down there. This is where if you don't have a jigsaw, you need one. Because this line would be impossible to cut close. That marked we'll mark that all the way out and then we'll cut it out all right so we have pretty much finished uh this part of the walls um so the only thing left we have to do on the walls is going to be putting little trim strips right here we'll figure out what exactly we're going to do but basically we're just going to trim that out uh so the since these aren't 100 level as well as uh we're going to have to find a way to trim this side out there's going to be cabinetry and stuff over here so we're not really concerned about that so the next thing that we're going to be doing is going to be the ceiling. So that closes out uh, this video of, yeah, basically how to put walls into a camper van.